Hi everybody, I'm Rowan, Lyron Witch, and today I'm going to do a timeless channeled message. This is good to go whenever you listen. Thank you to everybody who has sewed into my channel by subscribing, by getting personal readings, energy healing, or coaching. You can check out all the links in my bio if you'd like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one. and let's get in. So what I'm getting right now is whenever you're watching this, there's a lot of friendships and situationships that are dissolving or have just recently dissolved. It might be weighing heavily on your mind, but Spirit is letting you know that it's not really important to worry about these right now. Um, you know, it's okay to burn bridges sometimes. I feel like a lot of the friendships and stuff that are falling out at this time or have recently left at this time are due to people not giving enough and you giving too much. That is a part of the collective energy that is going away. It's like dissolving. Um, all of the light workers, empaths, you know, people who are on the spiritual path on this planet right now are moving further and further out of this victim martyr mode. And all of that stuff is requiring more logic and head over heart than you might be used to or even comfortable with. And what I want you to know is that it's totally okay to move away from people who are more interested in property than they are in other humans. So somebody I think needed to hear that. Uh, additionally, at the time I'm filming, we are just coming out of an Aries full moon that was the hunter's moon. And if you have felt like a victim most of your life and you're not just now stepping into the fire, so to speak, or your fire, and you're telling more people to get to get out of your energy or get away from you, that's okay. It's okay to be like a jerk sometimes I'm hearing from spirit, but I don't really think that being selfish is bad. Selfish means you are protecting your energy, you're protecting your magic. Um, you know, there's a lot of people who are very hungry for your energy. Um, there's also a lot of people with a lot of hungry ghosts around them or sort of entity attachments that hop in and out. Um, so you might even be interacting with a lot of people who seem one way. For some of you, it's your parents. I'm seeing that right here. But, you know, they could be acting one way and then suddenly just, I don't agree with you, and, and just start fighting with you. And, you know, if it's not a hell yes from you in terms of wanting to spend time with that person, don't spend time with them. That's an energy leak. That's somebody who is draining you. Now, also with um, parent coming up here, some of you um, might be co-parenting with somebody like this. And Spirit is saying that... <sighs> I'm seeing Archangel Gabriel. I feel like there's a lot of communication strain for those of you who are having to co-parent with somebody who has a lot of entity attachments or a lot of, um, like, negative explosive energy and Archangel Gabriel is saying over time you know these disagreements over little nitpicky crap are going to sort of dissolve uh, this person will get tired of it this person that you're co-parenting with is going to be spending more and more time on their own some of them are going to be not showing up for their kids as much in the future um, for some of you, that's a good thing, and I, I feel like you're clapping, and for some of you, you're, like, disappointed. But what I want you to know is that I am hearing from the angels that this situation is being divinely guided. And, um, you know, you are being protected throughout this whole thing. They're not going to let you or your child be, you know, left out in the cold. So if you're worried about financial strain through that whole sort of situation 
just know that that's being handled and it's unfolding in the correct timing. Yeah, for a lot of you, the money situation, the financial aspect of all of that is just going to take time to unfold and time to grow. Some of you have made investments that are going to pay off over time, especially if that's real estate. And some of you are entrepreneurs or are thinking of starting a business um, or have some sort of lucrative thing that you are considering starting. And that will just require time and your audience and your energy, basically. I'm also seeing um, Archangel Ariel around this situation. Archangel Ariel does help a whole lot with financial situations. And for those of you who are going through your spiritual awakening, um, keep in mind that Archangel Ariel is a really beautiful energy to connect with. Very nurturing. And um, whether you are co-parenting with a person or it's your parents that are causing this sort of issue, um, just know that Archangel Ariel is like a beautiful, stable, um, emotionally grounded energy that you can really hold on to. She's really good at providing more of things you need. So um, I'm seeing food insecurity um, and housing insecurity for some of you. And just know that she is... Yeah, something to do with um, maybe a struggle to get your child to school if you have a child, or if you're a student, a struggle with um, getting to school in some way, like transportation issues. Just know that those things can be solved by her in a very quick time. If you really struggle to hear her, or, you know, I say hear because I'm mostly clairaudient, but... Um, if you struggle to interact with her or receive messages from her, just know that um, Archangel Gabriel is the Archangel that you can ask for help with communication with, and he can make sure that you receive the messages that you need in the way that's perfect for you, because not all of us are seers or hearers. Um, most people actually receive through, <laughs> this is funny, when they're dreaming <laughs> or when they just like see um, a little synchronicity throughout the day when spirit's like, what you doing? <laughs> so just know that if you just suddenly have a sense of something, that's a psychic gift. That's clear cognizance. That's just knowing. Um, or if you sense something, either emotionally or physically, that's um, clear sentience. And those are both um, totally beautiful gifts. And it's okay to be stronger in some than others. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, as for the rest of the messages today for you, Collective, I'm seeing that there's a lot coming up about um, struggles with vulnerability, especially with opening up to other people, whether in friendships. I think it's for friendships for most people. But it could be as well. There's a lot of things coming up with parents, too. So if you are a parent or if you're struggling to reconnect with a parent, these are some situations where I feel like the divine is just really calling you to be aware of when it's actually safe to be vulnerable versus pushing yourself to try to be more vulnerable because you know that's something you generally struggle with. I'm seeing that some of you are trying to push yourself into vulnerability when it's literally not safe to do so with these red flags here. Um, uh, with poltergeist upside down here, you know, that's like a noisy ghost for those of you who don't know. But in this particular setting, you know, one of the things poltergeist can do is sort of break things in the house. I'm reading this as not a ghost, but a person who might kind of fly off the handle. Um, you know, there's a lot of angst and tension in the collective energy, but it's not you. It's the people that you might be interacting with are just kind of volatile. And I just want you to know if somebody treats you like that or if you find yourself interacting with people who are just very um, unpredictable, 
please don't feel that you need to push yourself to be emotionally vulnerable with them. These are not the correct people to do that with. Um, you might be in a stage or a season of your life where you're spending a little bit more time alone or waiting for the correct people to come in. Um, that's okay. It's, it doesn't feel good to go through that, but sometimes spirit does call us to be in that solitary phase for a while so that we can reflect with the six of cups here, reflect on the past, what we liked about certain situations and, you know, what kept us stuck. Because for some of you, you haven't had the adequate time, energy, or resources for a lot of you, because you're in survival mode, to reflect on things or people that have kept you stuck or certain cycles that you could have gotten out of in a different way if you had just been more honest and not tried to placate everybody else's feelings. There's nothing wrong with the fact that you did that because that's a survival mechanism called fawn that a lot of us end up in. But it ultimately, those ways that kept you alive as a child or really helped you move through things as a child don't always serve you best whenever you are elevating in life when you're grown up, right? And for some of you, you've had experiences where people kind of forced themselves on you in different ways, whether it was changing um, the way that you lived to accommodate somebody else or like physically doing that to you. And, you know, if you did go through that, I totally understand. Um, and, you know, the healing process for that is one that you just need to be gentle with yourself with. And it takes a lot of time, but you will, things do get better. I will tell you that. Now with the Wheel of Fortune here, I'm seeing that this is something that you're going to come out of. <laughs> like it's a matter of time and it is your destiny to not be stuck in this situation forever. The wheel is turning here. But again, that timing element definitely is at play. And I'm seeing that you either just left or are about to leave these volatile people or this volatile situation where these people are just fighting over God only knows what. Um, yeah, for some of you, you haven't left yet with the full here or you're like really worried about taking this leap or this next action to move away or for some of you, it's a new city, but for some of you, it's just getting a job that can get you out of this situation and you know, in order for that wheel to turn correctly, you do have to trust your intuition with the high priestess here. That's the big message that I'm getting today because, you know, bottom of the deck is judgment in reverse. And to me, like judgment in reverse is saying like, especially with the wheel of fortune here, these are really big energies. Okay. And these are long-term energies. So like you can't, just wait on the Wheel of Fortune to turn for you. You need to take the actions or you're going to face the consequences of not taking those actions, which is the, literally a tower moment, something bad happening. Um, in this case, I feel like it would be something bad happening, but that's not always how you read the tower. Um, the tower just means that something suddenly changes in a very unexpected and usually not ideal way that causes you to break down the any of false belief structures you have and, so that you can start over. And those these can always be avoided. These can be avoided by taking the proper decisions, uh, the trusting your intuition and making the proper decisions to, you know, making good judgments <laughs> about people and about situations. If you know something isn't good for you, leave. Find a way to leave. And the moment that you really t take the action of even just deciding, you know, even if you don't have the resources yet, and you're like, you know that you're carrying so many burdens for other people, the second that you say, this isn't my responsibility anymore, I'm putting these down, I'm going to find a way out. I don't know how yet, but I promise myself I'm finding a way out. That's when things can align for you. That's when this wheel of fortune energy can finally turn in your favor. And, you know, what I have found is that the universe, God, the gods, whatever, moves 
so much out of your way when you meet them halfway. If you do the most that you are capable of doing in any given moment, without exhausting yourself, but I mean, you really give an effort. You're rewarded. You come out successful because those that force that is looking out for us makes sure that you are seen and makes sure that you don't end up out in the cold. Is there any other messages today, please? Yeah, this is going to require you to look at things from a different perspective that you might not be comfortable with. Um, you might be somebody who's very prone to viewing situations and extremes of it has to be this way or it has to be that way. And what I want you to know is it's really important to pause whenever you are looking at a situation. And even if you can't understand or accept the gray area, just pause with it. There's, there's a sense of needing to settle because the acceptance comes with time, with these gray area situations where you can't choose one or another. That gray area will be revealed, like how you can actually work in that is going to come through to you, okay? I hope that part of the message makes sense because I was kind of just channeling and I'm not quite sure how else spirit wanted me to say that. Yeah, with the King of Cups here, I feel that some of you have some emotionally manipulative energies around you or people around you who might guilt trip you for certain things. And again, trust your intuition, make the judgment call, and take the action. But when it comes to this guilt trippy person, just lay low. You know, get out of the situation. If they bring up these conversations all the time and you live with them, just end the conversation. Just kind of quietly leave, let it die away, and, you know, hang out by yourself until that situation can change. Okay. And just know that, you know, work on this, put, the, put in the effort that you are capable of putting in, even if that's just making a decision. And, there are going to be resources and people who come in to help you with this. So whatever your situation is, the strength card here, just know that you can get through this. Fortitude will be required. But the good news is you are guaranteed that winning outcome so long as you listen to your intuition and take action. Okay? Yeah, the emperor. You're definitely going to come out on top of whatever the situation is, whether it's a moving situation for some of you. For a lot of you, it has to do with survival, though, whatever that is. Or just getting to a space where you're surrounded by calmer, more loving people. You know, whether that's in business, whether that's family life, whatever that is for you. I'm just seeing that there's this general sense of moving away from chaos and volatile people right now because a lot of people are just tweaking out. Um, so that is what I have for you guys. I hope that resonated for you. Um, again, if you'd like to book any kind of reading, energy healing, coaching session, animal communication, all that information for that is in my bio. And um, Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me to give back to the community, especially if somebody can't work with me one-on-one -on -one but would really like guidance. This is a great way for them to get that. So I'm sending you all lots of love, and I'll see you in the next one.